Hey guys, newly confirmed something pretty surprising for the iPhone and it's going to tear some Apple fans apart. Hey guys, um, welcome to Quick Tech Take. Um, please do subscribe. We're trying to reach 1000 subscribers. Please, we really need your subscription. If you're new here, please subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, please hit the subscribe button, like, share and like and share this video and so you can see more content like this. So guys, we're going to get right to it. Um, a new leak has confirmed that the Apple iPhone 15 Pro and the Pro Max will have variations. I mean, in terms of camera variations. And this is going to be throwing us back to the iPhone 12 era where they had some slight, not slight, but sort of major differences in the cameras. Well, we're going to turn over to Forbes now where I obviously got this news from. It says, um, New leak confirms iPhone 15 release shock. So the iPhone 15 is going to feature what is called a periscope camera. Respected leaker unknown, unknown Z21 states they have finally received independent confirmation of this. Periscope lens will be available exclusively on the 15 Pro Max, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So guys, this takes us back to the iPhone 12 days. When I heard it, I was like, whoa, Apple has done this before. And boom, my mind went straight to the days of the iPhone 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max. When the iPhone, when Apple basically made it this way, the 15 Pro Max has all the very best features. Normally the 15 Pro Max and the Pros are differentiated by size battery life due to his bigger chassis you know bigger screen yep bigger screen and maybe a few other features i can't remember right now chipset you know feature set it's always been the same but apple reversed that cause in the 13 and the 14 pro max and it seems it might be going back to that direction so to be sure if i was certain so i had to ask microsoft's version of chat gpt and let's see what it says about the differences of the 12 and the 12 pro max camera as what's the difference between the iphone 12 and the 12 pro max camera and it says the 12 the iphone 12 pro and the 12 pro max have triple lens camera system consisting of a wide ultra wide and tel and telephoto lenses the ultra wide lens is the exact same on both smartphones but the pro max but the pro max has superior wide and telephoto lenses the telephoto camera has a f 2.0 aperture on the 12 pro and allows for up to four times optical zoom while the 12 pro max telephoto camera has an f 2.2 aperture and a five times optical zoom range so i'm guessing it's you know kind of like took not a full breakdown of the differences but at least that at least get passes the idea along so it seems that it seems like apple will be going back to this mode of doing stuff but it's it's gonna be a periscope camera if you look at the galaxy x23 ultra a periscope camera is pretty bulky so maybe you know they might not have enough space for the regular pro that they have to take it to the 15 pro models you know um guys samsung has been using the periscope lens i think since the a note series up down to the s23 ultra um the periscope camera allows you to take you know incredibly um incredible photos from very very distant objects up to 100 times zoom you know with some software trick trick trickery and how to make that happen but i see apple being able to do something more advanced you know apple didn't jump on the 48 megapixel train early he took his time, worked out his technology, made a lot of things, you know, tidy things up at the back end and they brought out a 48 megapixel camera that really, really, you know, blew the pants off the competitors, to put it lightly. So if Apple's going to come, come out with a 100 times or whatever time they decide to use periscope lens, I have a feeling it's going to go right to the very top of the periscope lens chart. Definitely, that's one thing Apple knows how to do very best. So guys, um, one thing is also expected for the 15 Pro models, which is a price bump. Um, you know, the iPhone 14 Pros and the Pro Max were expected to have a price bump. That didn't really happen. You know, it still it is for $1,000 and $1,100. Um, so 
it seems like it skipped last year but it's not gonna skip this year because all indications are saying that there's gonna be price increment just the way usbc has been locked in as it's, it's a done deal already you know having um, a usbc iphone is something that's still kind of like it's normal but it's still kind of weird because everybody knows apple is developing you know a portless iphone so would we have two iPhone generations with USB-C or just the 15 Pro, maybe the, uh, maybe with the 16 series of iPhones? Well, I don't know, but that's left for Apple to, Apple to figure out, depending on what they want to do with it. But there's going to be a price increment for the iPhone coming out this year. Though, depends on how you guys take it. Me, I do not upgrade my phones every year. I like to keep my stuff for longer, you know, till I feel there's a there's a really difference beyond the wow factor when you buy a new device and you know that feeling i believe lasts longer than you know buying something you are know, shiny and you love it and three months later you're like not three months three weeks later or a week later you're like oh it's just like the same thing i had previously well guys that's all for apple's 15 pro mass update today um hopefully We'll see you in our next video and please guys do not forget to hit the subscribe button we're trying to get to 1000 go 1000 subscriber go please hit the subscribe button share this video like it and comment your thoughts down below and we'll see you in the next one peace